Most people watching this video will already understand focus bracketing and focus stacking, but in case you don't, I'll just give you a quick overview. Focus stacking is basically the same concepts as HDR, but it enhances focus rather than exposure. In a scene with high dynamic range, such as this one, it isn't possible to achieve the correct exposure in all parts of the image. This shot is exposed for the external windows, but overall it is underexposed. On the other hand, this shot is exposed for the inside of the temple, but the windows are completely blown out. To overcome this problem, we can take multiple shots of the same scene with different exposures and then blend them together. The HDR software takes a correctly exposed portion from each image and blends them together. There's a Marmite effect with HDR, you either love it or you hate it, but it can be useful when you are shooting scenes with extreme dynamic range. The problem with some lenses and some kinds of photography, and I'm really talking about macro photography and macro lenses, is that there is a very narrow depth of field. You have to decide which part of the subject you want to be in focus, and you have to accept that most everything else will be out of focus. Focus stacking, like HDR, allows you to take multiple shots of the same subject, but with slightly different focus points. The focus stacking software will then take correctly focused portions from each shot and blend them together to give one image with a vastly increased depth of field. To do this in the past required lots of fiddling around with manual focus in order to get the multiple shots to put into a software stacking program. A nice feature with the Canon EOS M6 Mark II is focus bracketing, whereby this can be automated. You can select how many shots you wish to take. You can select how much the focus will change between each shot. And using exposure smoothing, the camera will attempt to keep the brightness of all images the same to improve the result when the images are blended together. This feature is mainly intended for macro photography, although lenses other than macro lenses can be used. Flash can't be used. The individual images are taken in quick succession and there isn't enough time between shots for a flash to recharge. Canon recommends using an aperture of f5.6 to f11, but for the purpose of this test, I use the maximum aperture of the lens. This is f2.8 and using a speed booster, I was able to set an aperture of f2 on the camera. This is the first shot from a series of 10 with focus at the front. Exposure settings are based on lighting conditions for the first shot and will remain the same for all subsequent shots. For the first shot, focus on the part of the subject nearest to the camera. The focus bracketing feature will then adjust the focus for each subsequent shot going towards infinity. The settings require some trial and error. A nice addition would be for the camera to ask you to focus on the nearest and furthest parts of the subject, to ask you how many shots to take, and then to calculate the focus increment automatically. Another nice feature might be for the camera to perform the blending and just present you with a blended image. Are you listening, Canon? This is the final shot, and you can see how the focus point has changed. The spout at the front that was in focus at the beginning is now very much out of focus. This is the image after focus stacking and you can see the deep depth of field that you would never normally get with a macro lens. Now that you have several shots using different focus points, you need to blend them together. I used an old CS5 version of Photoshop. However, you can use other image editing software to do the same thing. There is free focus stacking shareware available to download for free, and you can also use Canon's digital photo professional software, which is also free. I'll quickly take you through the process I use with Photoshop. In Photoshop, go into File, then Scripts, and then Load Files into Stack. Now you've got to select the folder where your images are. Okay, I've got 10 images, so I'll select my 10 images. Uh, okay. And there's an option here to align the images. And you may think, well, if you use a tripod, they won't need aligning, they should already be aligned. 
But there's this phenomenon called um, focus breathing, where there's a slight change in focal length as the focal distance changes, so they won't quite be the same. You can do this later, or you can do it now as you're importing the file. So we, we, we might as well do that now. So just tick that box and OK, and now the files will come into Photoshop. Now that all of your files are in Photoshop in layers, you just need to select them all, then go up to Edit and Auto Blend Layers, and it gives you the op option for Panorama or Stack Images. We're not doing a Panorama, so we'll just leave it on Stack Images. OK, and this will then begin to blend the images. This takes quite a long time. My computer is about five years old now. It's an i5 Gen 7, so it's a bit slow. So what I think I'll do, I'll just edit out this part of the video and skip forward to when it's finished the blending. Now that the blending is finished, you can immediately see the results. We've got great depth of field. The spout at the front is in focus. The back is in focus. It looks really good. Because of this focus breathing thing, where the images weren't quite aligned and they've been aligned in software, we've now got some funny stuff going on around the edge. So you'll need to crop that to, to, get, rid of, to get rid of that, that bad edge. So just crop to whatever aspect ratio you need. And then go through your usual post-processing and sharpening and then you can export your image. It's really quite straightforward. The time-consuming part used to be doing the manual focusing to get the initial shots. But with the focus bracketing feature, this is no longer necessary. So it's a feature that I'm really happy to have. I hope that's been useful. If you have any comments, questions or other feedback, please leave them below. And more videos soon. Thanks for watching.